Hello, this is Reese Nanfito with Telespecialist. I'm the Chief Strategy and Growth Officer, and we have the opportunity today to speak with Chase Selman. Chase is the team manager for Dreyer and Reinbold Racing with the IndyCar Series. Uh, he's also on the pit crew for Sage Carum. I believe you're the right rear tire changer, correct? That's correct, yeah. Yeah, well, well, Chase, thank you very much for your time. And could you tell us a little bit about your role on the pit crew? Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, I'm the, the team manager uh, for the team. Um, I've been with the team about 18 years now. Um, done a variety of jobs, including uh, being on the pit crew, which uh, I've done most of the jobs on a pit crew. But my, my current position is I'm the outside rear tire changer, which is the only tire changer that isn't um, stationary. The car comes in and because of ruling, you have to run around the car and do your stop once the car is stopped. Uh, so it takes a little bit, a little bit of extra practice. Um, it's a little different than the other three tires, uh, but it's a crucial position and it's, uh, it's one that takes a lot of practice and uh, years to get right. Each of the main six guys that are over the wall um, is specific to their position. So you have you know, all four tire changers, you've got the, the air jack guy and you've got a fueler. And that is the only job that each of them do. And the reason we do it that way is because, like I said, this is a competition. Time is of the essence when that car comes in to get the car refueled, get the, the driver some new uh, Firestone tires and back on track as quickly as possible to lose as little time as possible in the pits. So, so how much practice and preparation is there to get ready for a, a, a real live race day pit stop? As far as practice goes, we built a specific car in our shop to allow the guys to practice on. So it's not a full uh, race engine because the race engines we only get before the race. We can't practice with those cars all the time. So we put an electric motor in an older car uh, same specs, but we can drive this thing in and out of the, the shop easily and have the guys basically practice whenever they want. I've seen a lot of crazy things happen. Yeah. How, how do you prepare for what's going to come into the pits? Well, the ideal situation is the car comes in, you do a normal stop. I mean, you know, that's what we practice for every day, but there's what we call the disaster plan uh, scenarios. And we have a detailed list of of items that can happen, whether it be the front wing of the car gets knocked off or damaged, we have to change it. The rear wings uh, knocked off or damaged. Um, a suspension element needs to be changed out. Well, and I can see so many correlations to a stroke alert. You know, sometimes an EMS will call in to the hospital an inbound stroke alert and give vitals and give some specifics about that case so that the stroke alert team knows how to react to it and can prepare for it. But there's always things that happen both in those scenarios mm -hmm. and your scenario, you know, a fire breaks out or something like that. You have to be ready for it. And Absolutely. so it's the whole, it's the whole anticipation of all of the things that could go wrong. We do. And part of that disaster plan in, uh, involves several other tooling that would allow us to change those parts out. So each, crew member has a, a different position during those disaster plan uh, procedures. And as part of that, they need to have their tools ready. Um, they need to have the tools ready to change out the front wing or the rear wing. So knowing exactly where those items are, uh, we can minimize that amount of time that overall that we're in the pit stop uh, to be able to make a game time decision and fix the issue and get them back out on track um as quick as possible here's a good example the start of the race the the first corner um is usually the most um suspense filled the cars are super close together they're going into a corner um several wings get damaged um which all those cars would have to come in the pit so say you're running second place and you end up getting in an, in an incident with another car um you're going to be coming in that next lap and like I said before, if the pit crew has been practicing those procedures to deal with that situation, then they can get that wing changed quickly and get you back out on track to still stay competitive. You know, the pit stop coach is, is key to gaining uh, speed for us in the pit stop 
procedure. And whether it's the disaster plan list that we went through or the actual pit stop itself is being able to lay that thing, the entire pit stop out on, on video and go through detail by detail to make sure we're not missing anything uh, is, is absolutely crucial for us to learn uh, to be able to create new muscle memories if we need to, or um, just speed the pit stop up in general. And it, it's, it's helped us out greatly. That's great. Thank you, Chase. Is there anything else uh, from the motorsports world that you would uh, bring in as, as something that might be of interest to a, a stroke alert crew uh, working on kind of a similar environment where time is, time is brain or time is of the essence? We've got our pit stop crew. We've got guys behind the scenes as well that are just as crucial that maybe you don't see or aren't, you know, out in the limelight, but they are playing a position as well on handing tires, taking tires back over the wall, keeping, you know, hoses out of the way. So guys aren't tripping on them or other cars behind us aren't uh, running over them and getting a, um, you know, a, a penalty. Um, and then we've got our, our data team as well on the, on the pit stand, our timing stand that houses our engineers. It's, it's really our life support for the car. As far as we've got a, a engine tech, um, and then we've got our data engineers that are looking at all the telemetry that's coming, you know, back from the car being on the track, as well as in the pits, we've got our electronics crew that are monitoring all the electronics on the car. And then we've also got our strategist that's coming up with the strategy of what we need to do, uh, when we need to pit. So it's a, it's a constant change based off of the information that's coming back from the car, um, as to how we're going to proceed and, and, um, ultimately win the race. Well, that's great. And, and thank you again, Chase, for, for meeting with us today. Again, we have Chase Salmon, team manager for Dreyer and Reinbold racing. And then he's also on the pit crew for Sage Karam, the right rear tire changer. Thank you very much, uh, Chase, for your time today. Not a problem. Thank you.